right, so you have the first line. Now you're going to connect to the vanishing point with your rulers. Okay, get your two sides. two sides. <clears throat> okay, next is going to be the top of our maze, okay, or the sides of the maze. So I'm going to make it a little bit on the larger side, make it on the larger side so you get more, um, you have a little bit more to play with in the middle. Okay, first one is this. We have our vertical lines. Remember, this is vertical, not diagonal. Okay, vertical with the page. If this, you want to remain parallel with the edge of your page on all times. Okay, I'm going to go more bigger. Okay, so if you find your ruler to go like this, because you just feel like that's normal and that looks well, that, that's not what we want. You want the ruler straight up and down. Straight up and down. So when in doubt, ruler like this. Okay, now we're going to make the top of the box. We'll just make it a box at first. Remember, this is a maze. Okay, going across. To get the top of the box, you crisscross. So we did that yesterday. Okay, so there's the start of it. Now we want to get the inner parts. How about we put the two, two doors right here? Okay, this, we're going to start with that one, which is very easy. We're just going to do our vertical lines. So two or four vertical lines. Make them as big as you want. Okay, vertical lines. Now to get the top of those doors is just connect to the furthest one toward the middle here, this one here. This is your connection point to the vanishing point. This one across. So you only need to do it where the door is. You don't have to keep. You don't have to draw. You don't have to draw a continuous line because it's just more lines to erase. I'm gonna draw another one. Okay, next piece is um, I want to make this look a little more three-dimensional. So this wall, this how, I'm just looking at this wall right here. This needs to be three-dimensional looking. So the first thing that you want to do is just create a very small little line right next to it. So everyone look up real quick. You have this piece. All I'm going to do is just create a small little, and it's on your reference too. You can see what I'm about to do. It's just creating that light highlight. That's what's on the top of the box. Now with this, you don't have to go all the way to the vanishing point. Just start making the lines that you actually need. Jerry, can you turn up the radio a little? You can turn it up. It's just too. Okay. So now we have the other section here. We have the the next wall. We're going to make that three dimensional. And if you want to put some doors and windows on that, this side, now we're going to this side of this wall. And how about we make that 3D looking. This point here, it can erase. Remember you're drawing extremely light too. Okay, we're getting 3D looking, all right. <clears throat> Please make sure your t people next to you are okay, okay? So just kind of check on them here and there. All right, let's work on these doors to look 3D too. So we're making, let's go back over here. Let's, let's make this start becoming something, okay? Right here, all you're going to do, so this looks like you walk into this door. You're going to go from inner right here and straight down, straight down. So I'm just going to go like so, okay? But this looks weird. If you connect it down to here, everyone look up. Doesn't that look a little odd? Okay, this needs to come parallel with the edge of your page. 
This is where you're going to start cutting off the window. Now look at it. Doesn't that look a little more realistic? And then you erase this inner, this bottom line. And now we have an entrance. Okay, so all I did was go from the edge of the, you know, it's parallel to the edge of the page at all times. All right, so we'll make another one. Might as well, my ruler's this way. Might as well keep going. Make a little door sill here. Go up, make a little door sill here. Okay, so then all I have to do is just do vertical lines. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to make the inner maze part. So that one's just, okay, all you're going to do is make this line here again in the middle. So you're going to pick a spot. Let's go right here. All right, very small. It has to be smaller though. So now we're in that, we're going inside the maze now. So just make a small little vertical line. Make sure that's straight up and down. I can tell mine's a little crooked. <coughs> straight up and down. But smaller. All right, we're going to go in so it's going to get smaller as it recedes back. Connect it to the vanishing point. Okay, again, you can stop at the edge of the building. If you want to go all the way to the edge of your vanishing point, you don't necessarily have to, because we're going to cut this side of the wall off, oh, say about right here. You gotta make it room, you gotta make it room to walk in. I know this is gonna get a tad confusing, so just Hang out, either keep watching or keep following along. Okay, so now we're making this inner wall. And now we're gonna make one here too. I'm gonna make it a little shorter. Okay, parallel with the edge of the page. Okay, always keep this ruler straight up and down. Straight up and down, I'll make it about here. Okay, cut this part off. Okay, just like we did on this outer wall, make it 3D. So now this little piece needs to become 3D. I wish my, re my ruler was see-through, would that be helpful? <laughs> okay, starting to see, now we need the back wall. How do we get the back of the the back wall or the top of the box? Crisscross, right? All right, so you're gonna crisscross this. Remember, you don't have to go, but I'll 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 extend the line all the way across. So I just drew from the furthest point, and I crossed it to the vanishing point. Now we're going to do the other wall, which is connecting it to that opposite vanishing point. And I don't need to go all the way, if not, if not necessary, <laughs> but always go to here. I'm going to keep erasing a little bit here and there just because the lines get a little confusing. Remember to draw extremely light, extremely light. I'm not erasing completely, so you can still see very light guidelines. <clears throat> okay, so my two walls are, have 3D character. I need to do the back walls. Make those look like they have a top, a top area. So that's real simple. Just come in a little bit from there and draw a little white area, that piece right there. Okay, and then again, you're gonna crisscross. Oh, not big enough, it needs to be a little bigger. If you have a mechanical pencil, 
This is where mechanical pencils become really nice because you get nice clean, clean lines. Um, the number two is great for shading for the next part that we're going to do. So either one. All right, so here we have this. Now I need to make this look 3D. So that little, that's a very easy thing to do. All I'm gonna do is create a vertical line. I'm gonna do it without the ruler so you can see the magic happen. It's just one line makes a huge difference. Okay, all I'm gonna do is extend this line straight down. I'm gonna go about that big. Okay, do you start to see it? Now what, how do I get the inner part? You see that? So simple thing, I'm just gonna go to the vanishing point and then it, fill that part in. Okay, go to the vanishing point and fill the rest in. All right, now I have, now it's looking a little like depth, right? Starting to come together. Okay, let's do this back wall now. That needs to have a top surface. So we're gonna go here. What happens when the ruler slips? <laughs> Without erasing everything, there we go. All right, so the top area. Now let's make some entrances. Should we cut some of this off so it looks like you can go through it, kind of like this one? Um, I'll also go back and you can erase your doorways so it looks like you can walk through that part. Okay, let's put doorways on this one now. You need to have some inner, right? You need to enter this way too. Same thing you did on this wall It's gonna happen here. So I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna do it without the ruler now as straight as I can so you guys can see. Um, Let's do a cutoff wall where it's completely open. All we're gonna do is do two vertical lines, vertical, keep these vertical, and then you just erase. Bam, now we have an entrance. There you're going back and forth, okay. The next one, let's do another little entrance over here. Just a small one. Remember they get smaller as they go back and then I just erase in that little, ah, barely, my eraser is horrible. Okay, if we magnify, let me just show one little spot. No, we can't go there. Okay, this little sp portion here, there's gonna be a lot of weird areas and we're gonna go and kind of help each other out to see this looks odd. You can't go straight up right here, that little highlight. It needs to go straight to the vanishing point. So it needs to go from here to here. So it's gonna get that angle. I'll just darken it so you can see the difference. Right? Doesn't that look a whole lot better? Starting to look... Just the little things actually work a lot better. <laughs> All right, the same one here. That one needs to come over. I'm just doing this to let some of you guys catch up. and make it come to life a little bit. <clears throat> All right, on the sample that's there, do you see there's a little connecting little section right here. There's like a wall that connects these two walls. So I'm thinking that you're getting enough idea of how to do this. Um, there is an intersection too. So I will show you how to connect the wall and then keep going so there's more inside and then let you guys kind of work on your own pace. Okay, because I think I'm done enough. <laughs> All right, so let's connect this wall to this wall is using the, you know, when in doubt, just go to the vanishing point. So I'll just start with a line say, oh, I don't know, how about right here? And connecting from the corner to the corner. Now I have shaded all this, which is gonna be a little fun because I'm gonna have to erase. Okay, so there's this. Now I need the bottom of that wall so it makes sense. Uh, to the vanishing point. Okay, 
there's gonna be a wall here starting to see it I'm gonna shade it so it just kind of makes because I've already shaded 